Hi, I'm Chris Bradshaw from Hexagon. In this video, we'll see how to use GT Strudel's GT Menu module in order to create and perform finite element analysis. We'll start by creating simple construction lines and points in order to create the boundaries and then mesh automatically to generate the finite element analysis model, including the addition of internal boundaries for holes. Finally, we'll run the finite element analysis and review the results, including the graphical plot of the displaced shape or the bending stress contour plots. My colleague Ravi will take us through this. Okay, so in this case, uh, we're going to look at how to do finite element analysis advanced meshing using GT menu. Uh, so in this case, we're actually going to use the boundary lines that we have created and some uh, points that we've created. These are not nodes and these are not members, uh, but they are just construction lines and points. So let's see how to create construction lines. Okay, so if you go to create, and then there's a command called uh, construction points. You can create points, you can create lines uh, here by typing in the coordinates, or you can just uh, transform existing node points to points. Okay, so here we'll go to circular, three-point option and we'll just set the number of divisions to let's say eight okay and then once we do that all we need to do is just specify three points and it'll actually create a uh, a curved surface for a curve uh, curved um, boundary for us okay so we create those boundaries and then we'll just create some internal boundaries okay which are actually represent um, holes of a plate okay so we've created the um, you know three points on on these holes okay and these green lines basically now internally represent um, openings okay so once we do that uh, we just have to do it uh, for uh, three more holes here we can then go in and use a new tool to do the meshing for for this plate okay now, uh, what we're also going to do is also connect these holes with, uh, you know, uh, some boundary lines. What we really want to do is have some stiffener plates attached to this plate that I'm actually creating. Uh, I'm not going to be creating that stiffener plate here in this uh, video, but I'm just going to create the boundary lines. Okay, so those boundary lines are basically lines connecting these circles uh, that I've drawn and let me show you how that looks like. Okay, so this is a first boundary line. And what I'll be able to do on that boundary line is control the mesh density along that line. So if I have to attach, uh, let's say, a stiffener plate to this plate, uh, I have an edge to connect to, okay? Okay, so we're done with the hard part. We're done with drawing the boundary, external boundary, and the internal openings and the boundary lines. Now we'll go to this tool called Joint and Element Mesh tool. So we'll just go in and Elements and Joint using Mesh. Here we'll go in and define the thickness of the plate that uh, we want to create. Um, let's just do 100 uh, centimeters, okay? So then we'll go in and choose the uh, element that'll be used uh, here to create that. It's going to be the SBMITC. Uh, element which is new inside uh, GT Strudel and then I'm just cre going to create select the boundaries okay for uh, this uh, mesh to be created okay so that's first we define the outer boundary of the plate now if you do not click on the X it'll assume that you have not closed the area like I did here so you, you really need to be careful here to select the axis okay uh, otherwise uh, it won't do the meshing properly so you just have to go in and select the axis here to uh, you know define that as the outer mesh boundary okay so once we've done that uh, it'll show you all the boundaries contained that form the outer boundary of this plate now uh, here I'm going to go in and specify the some parameters okay we'll take care of that later then we're going to go in and add the internal 
boundaries okay so we're going to select these circles like you see here uh, and you just right click click on them click on the axis and then right click if you make a mistake uh, you can go back into that dialog box and delete that boundary uh, by selecting it uh, so here you see that it's automatically saying that the boundaries that I'm selecting are openings it's smart enough to know that um, because it detects it as a closed uh, a boundary okay in uh, within a closed boundary so you, you, you can actually change that if you like you know if you don't like it to be closed you, uh, sorry uh, if you like it to be closed you can just say no and it'll actually mesh the internal of that uh, boundary also now I'm going to go and specify the attachment points uh, lines okay so you can see now it tells me what is contained in each of those boundaries okay what lines are contained in each of the boundaries okay okay so now we go in and generate and we see some there are bad elements that are being created so I'm just going to undo that and change this to 0 0.25 and now generate the mesh so we have some bad elements again so I'm going to go back and change that to let's say 0 0.5 click on generate mesh so this worked okay so now uh, we don't have any bad elements created so we can just say done uh, and now it's a complete finite element analysis model so we can assign uh, supports to this like you see the rendered mode here I'm going to go back to wireframe and just attach maybe three supports okay let's just create three supports uh, we'll go in and assign a uh, uniformly distributed load okay we know the plate thickness we know the material is steel so it should be able to go in and calculate the uh, self weight of that plate and let me just run the analysis and the analysis is almost done okay now let's go in and review some of the results now this is the display shape as you can see uh, let's go and view finite element analysis results and these are the bending stress contours right well thank you Ravi now I hope you found that video useful but remember if you do have any further questions please don't hesitate to reach out to us at hexagon thank you for watching